Alright guys, so we are going to make sort of like a space frame roof and it's going to be based off of uh, a generic uh, adaptive curtain panel family and this is this is really cool because this has a lot of implications within your studio project so this is a, a really fun and kind of easy uh, method to making this really nice space frame. So we're going to make a new project and we're going to use architectural template and we'll just press OK and I've got some some weird graphics thing going up there. Okay, so there's going to be a couple steps for this. We're going to first make a in-place mass and set some reference planes to go off of that to make our uh, to make our mass. And then we're going to make the new family and then load it into the project. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create some reference planes. So if we go to um, where is it reference plane and you can be kind of very generic with this so I'm just gonna make one here let's name it one and then I'll make like another kind of weird one right here and we'll call it two and then we'll make one more right there and I'll call it three so you should have three reference planes, you can you can press escape a couple of times. So you should have these three reference planes. If you click on it, it'll say one. Click on it, it says two, and then three. Um, and we're gonna make a section view. So if you go to view, and we'll make a section, we'll place it here. Um, and it's important that you know which way the section is facing. Right now, you, you can tell that it's going this way, but uh, if it's not, you can use these little flip grips and make it, make it face it into the direction of these reference planes. Alright, so now we're going to make our mass. So if you go to Massing in Sight and do In Place Mass, it's going to show some things but don't worry about it just press close and we're going to call it roof alright so we're going to need to draw some sort of section lines on these reference planes so if you go click on the little bubble you can go into your um, section view um, and I'm going to cancel this really fast so I can make this box a little bit bigger so you can see it alright so massing in sight in place mass, call it roof, and then we're going to draw some reference lines. So if you go over here, there's a little button that says reference, um, and this is where we're going to pick the, those reference planes that we've made earlier. So if you go to name in this drop down menu, we're going to make one on one, press OK, and then we're going to make some arcs. So start end radius arc. We'll just, we'll just be very free free form with this. So, oh, sorry. So we'll do one. We'll make one there. We'll make a little arc. And if it's not showing up, we're just kidding. Not that. Uh, we want our visibility graphics which is right here. Uh, we're just trying to make these reference lines show up. So if you go down to... Uh, it's not in there. Wait, reference. You know what? It's fine. We'll just keep going. That, that, that's okay. Uh, let's go back to this modify button. Uh, we're going to make another one, so if you press set, we'll go to 2, press OK, and we're going to make another start and radius arc, and you can, be, you can make this however you want. Why aren't 
actually showing up. Mm. Okay, so they showed up. Uh, there's just something wrong in my um, visibility graphics, but uh, we can go. We can go in and, and change these if you want. Look at all these little things have their little reference points. Let me pull this one out a little bit. Kind of make that nice. All right, so I'm happy with this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select all three of these uh, reference lines. And if you go up here, there's a button that says Create Form. And that essentially just locks those lines together. And we're going to be using that again later. Uh, but we're not done. So if you click on this mask that we just made, uh, what we need to do is we need to make the divisions of this surface so that we can put in our individual components. Uh, so right up here there's this button called Divide Surface. And that just makes a grid on that surface. And, and you can go in and change this over in your Properties panel. So let's see, the V grid, I'll make this like... make that a little bigger. No, I don't want that to be bigger. Let's put that at 10. Now let's make this 14. And maybe a couple more. All right, just till it gets to be about square. Um, and I like to keep it uh, in even numbers, it, that's just the way that I like to model uh, because even numbers are much easier to work with than odd numbers, if that makes sense. Everything is sort of divisible. Alright, so now that we have this surface, we can, we can finish that. Uh, don't worry about any kind of warning that you get, just kind of ignore that. So. Now that we have this kind of surface that's our roof, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new family. So if you go up to File, New, we're going to make a new family. And this is where the fun part begins. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to use is a thing called Curtain, uh, curtain Panel Pattern Based. So that's going to take whatever kind of pattern that we have in this roof and that's what the uh, the family is going to exist in and you'll see what's going to happen with that in a second. So you press OK and, and this is sort of the, the base template that we get. Um, there's a couple existing reference planes in there uh, which is good because that's this is that kind of square panel that we're going to be fitting inside of. So the first thing that we want to do is create some reference points. So if you go to reference and reference point, uh, the first thing that you want to do before you make this point is you want to set the plane, the work plane. So we're going to make four of these and we're going to set each of these planes. It's important to do this every time, um, otherwise your family will explode. So I set that reference plane for that point, I'll set it again over here for this point, work your way all the way around, set this one, and we'll set that point. Alright, so now that we have those points, let's select everything, and we'll go into the filter. Right, because I only want these points. I just want to check to see 
right? And it select those points. And we're gonna come over here and offset that. So I'm just gonna do four feet. And again, like you can be much more uh, detailed as you want and like kind of base things on your design. Let's make this a little bit more by feet. Right, so it's taking those points and it's offsetting them from their original reference planes, which is good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some reference lines. So if you go up here, you have that, right? We're going to just draw these lines uh, and make sure that 3D snapping is on. Also chain. That's going to make it like one continuous line. So we're just going to go all the way around, make that, hit escape. All right, so we left off. We were making these reference points, and we're still making the other structure lines. So we're going to make some more reference lines. We'll do this little cross here. Press the escape. There. There. We'll make one more reference point in the middle. So we have that cross on the bottom. We're going to do a couple more. So a reference line. And we'll go from here to the middle, up to here. Press the escape. And we'll go from here, to the other side, from there to there. And press the escape. Alright, so now that we have all of these lines for the structure, we're going to start to make the members. So, instead of reference, we're going to use model lines now. We're going to create circles around them. Um, before we do that, we need a couple more reference points. So, we'll make some points. So we'll set one in the middle there, we'll set one in the middle there, and the reason I'm not going to put one over here is because this is sort of one line, so I'm just going to put it over on the other side. Alright, so now that we have those points, let's start to make some of the sort of geometries that go in this. So first we'll start by making the the glass kind of panel that goes on top. So if you select all four of these top reference lines, we'll go up here to create form, kind of like we did earlier. Uh, and this is going to give it a thickness, but for glass that's a little bit too big. So we'll come over, select it, Come over to our properties and you see this positive offset. Let's change this to something more like the thickness of glass. So we'll make it half an inch. All right, sweet. So we want to make this material. So if you press tab, you can highlight the right thing. We want that whole entire geometry. We'll come to material. You want to click on the, the three dot button and not associate family parameter for this one. So we're just going to set that material to glass. And you can come in and, and change the way that you want it to look, but for right now, let's just leave it. So we have the glass panel on the top. Now we're going to make the circular structure members. So let's go up here to model. Let's make a circle. Let's set the plane. And it's important to set the plane every time because otherwise you'll be making circles in the wrong plane. So you can see this is the, the plane that we're going to be working off of for, for, these, for this member right here. So we'll come in, select that point. And we'll make this two inches. 
So you can see how that is perpendicular to that line, which is good. And we'll come, we'll set the plane again to this point, click the point, make it the same, two inches. All right, let's come set it again, set that point. That's not the right, did not click the right point. Okay, let's set it again. There we go. You see how the plane is perpendicular. So we'll come in here on the point. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. So we'll make it four inches. And then finally, the last one on the bottom, it's gonna be the biggest. So we'll set that plane. And we'll make this six inches. All right, so now that we have those in place, press escape a couple of times and we'll start to create forms with these. So if we click that reference line, hold control, select the circle, create form. There's your base member. Um, what happened to my other reference lines? Yikes. Let's do these top ones first. So, we'll select both of these reference lines. And select the circle. Create form. Do it again over here. Create form. Select these reference lines. Select the circle. And create form. See, you can see it's starting to come together now. All right, guys, sorry for that interruption. I had to figure something out real quick. So the problem we were having is that when we created the, uh, the bottom member off of this reference line, it was deleting the other reference lines that these are based on. So in order to work around that, we'll just make another reference line at the bottom and call it a day. So let's make that final member. So you'll want to select the reference line and that circle and create form. And there we go. Okay. So now that we have those in there, Let's just delete that because we don't want that to show up in the model. And let's set some material to these members. So we'll want to select all of that. Press tab to highlight the whole thing. Press tab, hold control, select those. Hover over, press tab, hold control. Hover over this, press tab, hold control. Now that we have those selected, let's go to material. Let's type in aluminum. And we will add material to document. Press OK. All right, so now that we have this completed, we're going to load this into the project. Let's go to a 3D view. We'll click the surface. And you can see right now that there's no, where is it? Come on.
uh, we still need to edit this. So, uh, if you missed what I just did, if you click the surface and go into edit in place, that's going to allow us to change the pattern and the properties. So, if you click the pattern, you can change it to, yours is going to show up as family 1, but mine is family 2. And it takes a second to load because there's a lot of things to generate in there. But it'll populate all of those squares with that family that we just made and create a very beautiful looking space truss. Boom. Alright, and then you can finish you can click finish mass. Let's look at this in a realistic view. I'll save it in a second. But a very beautiful space truss. You can adapt it to any kind of surface. Uh, cool. And that's it.